Hey, what's up? Back again. First base note hit me in the chest, and I was just like, there's no way that's too late. MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel, and this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. And Sunday morning, I gotta start my work week every Sunday. <laughs> uh, my last video, I was telling y'all about uh, size of the subwoofer doesn't make it inefficient or sluggish, and that large subwoofers are not as are not slower to respond than a smaller subwoofer. Uh, and you got comments, people talking about the transient response. Well, when you're dealing with brands that are reputable. That is being accounted for. So as the subwoofer is increasing its size, the cone area, which is increasing the voice core most times, and increasing the cone, uh, the cone size, uh, the spider is going to get bigger, the former is going to get bigger, the number of windings on the former, all those things are going to increase the MMS. So that must be accounted for. So that the uh, magnet, which is the motor, the engineers, if your subwoofer is truly being designed and engineered like by a reputable company, and y'all know who when I say reputable company, who I deal is reputable and who is just getting products from China and putting their name on a dust cap. Okay. Engineers have designed and took that into consideration. So they have increased the force factor, the BL. And the, uh, I think it's something else. I forgot what it's. I can't call it in mind right now. But they have considered that. They put that in in, in consideration when they design a subwoofer, particularly around the top plate and where the magnetic field is being focused on the gap, which is where your voice core on the windings on your former going up and down. They have calculated all that to make sure that the woofer moves with enough force that's needed to reproduce or give you a desired SPL with that with that particular uh, subwoofer, with that size. So the BL on a 15, uh, the motor force on a 15, is going to be greater than the motor force on an eight. And why? Because you got more weight to move. For instance, like look at, that, look at the analogy, analogy of a cars. If you got a, I drive trucks. So you got a, a quarter ton, 1500, then you got a half ton, uh, a 25, and then you got a full ton, a one ton, which is a dually. As you go up in the size of the vehicle and the weight of the vehicle and what it can pull, your torque is going to increase. Use that torque analogy similar to with a subwoofer. As the subwoofer goes up in size, 8 to a 10, 10 to a 12, 12 to a 15, if you're dealing with a reputable company, they're going to account for that so that you can get that desired output. Uh and it can move those saw parts with enough force. Once again, a larger subwoofer is not going to be sluggish compared to a smaller subwoofer. Unless you're dealing with an inferior brand. Now, if you're dealing with the big, the, the ones that, and I'm not going to say just them because there's other brands too that are reputable and they account for that. But most times with subwoofers that have poor transit responses is because they wasn't really designed and engineer, engineered here in America. They were designed and engineered by a company that's copying some technology that they in see, but for far cheaper. So you get subwoofs that are, uh, have poor transients. There's some brands that I can name that have poor transient responses, but this channel here, not here, like I say, I'm not here to bash no brand. I can make any subwoofer sound good, even if that subwoofer doesn't have the performance that another brand possibly has. And that's why I stick with the that's why I stick with the brands that I know do what they say they're gonna do. They were really designed and engineered, not carbon copies. So that's one of the reasons why my my channel is it doesn't grow as fast as others because I'm actually giving y'all truth. I'm not a fanboy. I'm not I'm not here to to push the popular trend like you see going on in America. I'm here to tell y'all the truth. And give you the, the, the utmost truth. And it brings hates on both sides. 
It brings hates on, 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 on it brings hates from all over, man. Some people, I've had black guys, man, you get hate just from white guys. Yeah, I get hate from white guys, I get hate from black guys too. I get hate, period, just for telling the truth. And not, I guess, substantiating their claims. I'm not here to make, I'm here to back my boxes and tell people the truth of what they actually need for these systems. The, the, I think I, the, my channel's growing, I have the organic, I really have organic members because they're learning something as they go along. Whether they agree with me or disagree with me, doesn't matter, but they're learning how to design these systems better. So, and get the most out of what they have. And that's what the NBA is about. That's what the NBA movement is about. Truth. Fact over fiction. Stop <laughs> running the right subwoofer for the, for the side that you got available instead of just cramming something in there and think you're going to beat them in output. And knowing that the three the three trinities, amplify, power, well, amplify, box, and sub, those three work together, none greater than another. But that's a whole other video. But I just want to touch on that, that transient response thing so you all understand it. If you're dealing with a, a reputable company, they have calculated that into the design of the subwoofer, so there is a, there's not a poor transient response. There's not a poor transient response. Some of these brands that y'all love so much, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure they got a lot of uh, bad transients as you go up and subwoofer size. They don't calculate that because to calculate that and do those things, it's gonna cost you a little bit of money. That's why certain brands can't sound as accurate as, for say, like a J Audio. You're not going to sit here and tell me that you think J Audio got poor transits. Because if, if you believe that, you're really on that dope. Kick the same thing. Kick it the same way. Why? Because they actually research and R&D they subwoofers. They have a whole department. Several people on staff to do that. Not one guy on a laptop talking to Alibaba. Peace.